slowly through it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we through it all Hello my little cupcake, Shadow here, your favorite Shadow VTuber. <laughs> anyway, um, Wolfie Chew just uh, released a new video and I was thinking I should be reacting to it. I just felt like it. The video is called Anime Fans in a Nutshell Animated. So how about we get right into the reactions? Let's do it. Anime fandoms can be both very fun and very strange groups to be a part of. That's In my true. experience as an anime fan on the internet, I've seen a lot of different kinds of people in this community. And Especially I've narrowed in them down to at categories cons. so I can give you a little tour of the different kinds of anime fans on the internet. Okay, let's, let's hear it. Let's do Number it. Number one, the closet weeb. There are people out there who love anime but are embarrassed to talk about it. So they that's definitely not me. I have always been um, open and honest about the person I am, even if people were like, uh, uh, like cringe, what? you little piece of shit, you like anime. That that's how people used to be back in the day, before it um, anime became popular and shit. So yeah. They pretend to only be vaguely aware about the existence of anime, or they pretend to know nothing about it at all. Yeah, not me. Bet, as soon as they're home alone, the blinds are down and no one can see them, they are straight to Crunchyroll checking out the next anime. Another thing, Crunchyroll. I have never known about Crunchyroll. I always had like these special anime webs, uh, these extra websites that I found eventually on Google and stuff, like, I, I had to scour the internet just to watch anime. And at some point, Crunchyroll um, came in, like, yeah, m makes it easier for people to watch anime, but for me, it... Dude, that just... It's not how it used to be. It's not how it used to be. Okay, let's... They're let's gonna be continue. binging till 3 a.m. Fan side of them is almost like their happier alter ego. Because they keep it a secret, yes. it can be hard to distinguish a closet anime fan from regular people. Especially because, honestly, I true, feel like the closet waves are becoming less common these days because watching anime is way more acceptable than it used to be. When I was in school, people thought that it was weird or embarrassing. Hence, yeah, everyone was judging you back in the day if you liked anime. And uh, that uh, was awful. That was very awful. They were ju judging you. They uh, tr uh, mistreated you. You bull. They bullied you because you liked anime. Why I, I used it. to be in this category. Oh, how the tables have turned! I, <laughs> I got it. Wonder now how many other closet weaves. <laughs> Is this a Yu-Gi-Oh reference? Is this a Yu-Gi-Oh reference? I'm pretty sure this is a Yu-Gi-Oh reference right there. I've been in my school and I just had no idea. Now is that a Tiff Conan reference? Or d detective movies? Number two, the manga reader. I do collect a lot of manga and I freaking love manga. Manga readers are the people who've come to the conclusion that the manga is always better than the anime. Exactly! You typically don't realize who the manga readers are until a series that they've read gets an anime adaptation. And then they stand up to simply tell you... <laughs> the manga was better. I know! Sometimes it seems that they only watch the first episode to put I that just judgment casually out like there, and then they don't uh, watch anymore. Comics, then manga, they go quiet anime, again until the cartoons. cycle repeats. I just Look, more watch times than and not, read them they're right. for the joy. It's the same deal with books Purely being adapted for the joy. into movies. A lot of stuff has to get cut out. Or That's the true. anime is filled up with a lot of meaningless filler. The yeah, the problem with uh, the cutting out stuff from the manga is it's... Certain things are hard to animate or, um, I don't know, like, the production sometimes doesn't, um, the possibilities are not as great as just a drawing. Yeah. The manga reader will never fail to remind you of these things. Yeah. Number yeah. three, the memer. 
I'm there a meme. There are people on the internet who barely watch anime, yet they somehow <laughs> That's are not in true. the know at Um you can be a memer and still know what uh, you are talking about. Like, you ha you can watch every single anime and you will know what you know about, but you can reuse it as memes. And then there are the people that um, are watching the memes only and know what it's about just because you watch the memes. There are different types of memes. times about everything going on with anime. How, might you ask? The answer is very simple. Sherlock Holmes! Memes! These people consume memes. anime entirely through memes and videos that they see on the internet. They t I don't I don't know anime uh, just because of the memes. I watch the anime and I appreciate the memes coming from it because I know what the actual plot was. You don't need to actually sit down and watch a show because they've seen the entire plot and funny moments in segments. It's like the anime is a puzzle that they piece together themselves. I don't do the puzzle thing. I watch Number the thing four, and then I appreciate the, the memes afterwards. The casuals will usually be quick to call themselves an anime fan, but they haven't seen oh, that's true. many series. In fact, so they'll go for the most popular ones. They'll go for the most popular ones like uh, My Hero Academia or uh, the, the latest ones. Like and they've only seen one. They one. exclusively watch two anime and stick to only the most popular shows. Usually the ones in the shonen genre. Even though they like anime, they probably wouldn't go as far as buying merchandise or going to conventions. Oh, that's what I do. Their favorite anime is either My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer, or One Piece. Don't do any gatekeeping against this group, though. They're just having fun. So yeah. the casuals are typically the most chill anime fans. If we go to the other extreme, however, on the other end of the stick, we have... Number the five, otaku. the hardcore. Can also otaku. be referred to as the otaku. That is me. That is 100% me. I'm part... I'm, I'm an otaku. I'm Mention the hardcore any maniac. Anime. They've seen it. They've oh, never seen all of it. a single filler episode of Naruto because they believe I didn't like you Naruto. have to have the full experience. This I didn't like Naruto, but the ones... Wikipedia I didn't um, watch too much from Naruto, but the ones that I did watch, I know freaking every detail. ...level knowledge on anime, and you can ask them any question. Although exactly. usually harmless, their fountain of knowledge can sometimes accidentally make them come across as though they think only their anime opinions are right. Oh no, that's There's not true. There's a good true. chance that their Twitter profile picture is a cute anime girl. I have never made any of my profile pictures into an anime girl. It used to be like Shadow the Hedgehog or some um, favorite anime dude like Hotaru Oreki from Hyoka. Yes. <laughs> this guy, then Karita from Sword Art Online, then um, Sadao Mao from um, The Devil is a Part Timer. And y you get the gist. You get the gist. <laughs> Walking into their room feels like you unknowingly stepped into an anime store from the amount of merchandise and figures everywhere. It's kind of impressive. Their number one holiday destination is Japan. It's Japan. And there's a good chance that they are either learning or have learned Japanese. Not always. I am still struggling to learn Japanese, but I would love to learn it. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to do it. I do know some words, but I, I, I'm still struggling to learn the signs. Like, it, it won't just, it just won't stick in my head. It needs more practice, and I currently don't have too much time for that, sadly. Number six, the cosplayer. Oh, I do the that too. The cosplayer can range from a lot of levels. Oh, that's Starting true. with casually throwing on an outfit from an anime to wear to an anime convention. All the way to it being a lot of people's actual careers. Yeah, I'm a there casual cosplayer. There are professionals out there who take it seriously to the point of keeping up with anime purely so they can see and predict who the next popular character to cosplay is going oh, to be. Oh, yeah. Their lives yeah, also I know. revolve around how many days they have left until the next convention. Especially if they create their outfits themselves. Because uh, that lot is of a lot of work to a lot of respect for those people that um, make their cosplays themselves or those that create the cosplays for someone else. Like that, I know how much work that is. I, tr I, I, I'm really bad at sewing and shit, but I did try it once, like 
I tried to make myself like a, a cape coat thing, and I'm. It looked awful. It looked absolutely awful. You, you, the professional uh, cosplay designers. I, I have a lot of respect for them because I have bought several cosplays already, um, and they look so cool. And you can really see how much effort they put into it. Okay, let's Phew, continue. And they are probably stressed right now. Check yeah, up on I your cosplayer friends, everybody. Seriously, though, these people are so talented. I respect. Dress up, darling. Number seven, the shipper. The oh, shippers no. are the people it's who care way more from, about the uh, relationships in anime than anything else about it. One of their pastimes is picking out characters of a show who barely interact and obsess over them being together. If there's no romance whatsoever in the show, they will take it upon themselves to create the pairings themselves. Sometimes the shippers will take their shipping as far as matching characters from completely different series. They but must they likely exist. watch or have created anime shipping AMVs. Seriously, this was like a whole era on YouTube. They probably got introduced to a lot of old iconic songs for the first time through AMVs about Naruto and Sasuke. I, I used YouTube to uh, watch outlet, a lot of they AMVs. They might have made at least one fanfic or comic about their ships, which may or may not include a self insert original character. Oh, God, yes, I, mean, I remember I, those. I wouldn't know or anything. I definitely didn't make a bunch when I was younger. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I did that too. I used to, I used to, but not anymore. <clears throat> Speaking of fanfics though, that takes us to a subcategory. Number 8. The Role Player. Some anime fans love certain characters to the point of wanting to play out a part online acting as them. They create profiles made to look like their favorite character and then aim to get into circles of other characters from the show. It's basically like creating fanfiction but co-writing it with other people playing out the parts. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. But um, there was a time when I was on Amino, uh, an app on my phone, where where you could like uh, go into chat groups and stuff. I I like to um, I did like to go into roleplay chats and stuff and do something similar like that. But that was a long time ago, like several years ago. But I did have fun with it. A few years ago on YouTube, I told the story of my experience role-playing an anime character online. Yes, I did that. It was an accident, though. I just wanted to make friends of other people who liked anime because... Hold on a minute. This... This is, uh... Yeah, this is a recent anime. What was it called again? Well, it was this... L level 999 guy. I, I I forgot his name. Like I established before, I was a closet weeb in school and had no one to talk to about important things like Tokyo Mew Mew. Look, I had no one that even appreciated my m me being there. I was a total outcast, you guys. It didn't matter for them if I was an otaku or not. They just hated me. Yeah. Look, that anime was my childhood, okay? Hey, I'm not judging you, Wolfie Chu. I'm not judging you. Everyone had their own thing going on. And I was just very obsessed with every uh, everything. Anyway, I didn't know what role-playing was at first, but from what I saw back then, it was mostly harmless and innocent. This one is also from level 999. Sometimes there are people who can get a little carried away playing their part. Flashback to that time. He messaged me every day saying things like, Hi girl, I'm hungry for those lips. No. Whether you fit into yes, any of these categories or you know someone else who does, remember this video was just made for fun. Also, I'm kind of poking fun at myself a bit here too because I fit into a lot of these categories in different periods of my life. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you'd like to see more of my videos. Also, leave me oh, a comment really letting did. me know what your favorite part of the video was. I love reading what you guys have to say. And if you don't know what to watch next, how about checking out my most recent video about how I learned Japanese? Click right here on the video. You know Japanese? I'll see you over there. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye, Wolfie Chew. Thanks for being awesome. Also, please, um... Uh, I hate to ask it, but 
If you'd like to leave a subscription or a like, that would be great. Like, sometimes I I just don't want to um, ask for it since I don't really think I'm uh, good enough for a like or subscription. But any support is it really, really feels awesome. And I'm looking for uh, friends that do appreciate what I'm doing. Bye, my little cupcake. Shout on out.